In this video, I want to talk about a feature in QuickBooks Online that will allow you to track the income and expenses of different parts of your business and compare. And that feature is something called classes. Now, this is a feature that's only available in the plus or advanced version of QuickBooks Online. In order to turn this feature on, you would go to the gear icon, account and settings, advanced, and you can see it here where it says categories. I have this turned on and I can check the box to warn me when a transaction isn't assigned a class and I can assign classes to the entire transaction or to each row. I'm going to go ahead and keep it at each row. I'm going to come out of this so I can demonstrate some examples. Now that I have classes turned on, I'm going to go ahead and go to the list of classes that would be up here in the gear icon, all lists, and you can see classes right here. Now I don't have any set up yet in this sample company, so I'm going to go ahead and set a few up. This is the QuickBooks sample company and it's a landscaping company, so I'm going to add a few classes related to that. I'm going to add general sales and I'm going to add maintenance services. And I'm just going to keep this simple so that I can demonstrate the concept. But of course, you could have multiple classes here just depending on your business and what you want to track. Okay, now that I have these set up, I'm going to go to some transactions and I'm going to go ahead and assign a class to those transactions. And just to make things easier, I'm going to use some transactions here in the bank transactions just to make this go a little faster. So for example, this $55 from Bessie, I'm just going to choose pest control services and say this is maintenance services. And then I'm going to go into some invoices in this deposit. Now these are customer payments and there's not an option to add a class on this line, on these lines. Down here, if I were to add funds to that deposit, I could put a class over here on the right. What I'm gonna do is actually drill down into each of these payments and edit the actual invoices themselves to assign the class there. So I'm just gonna click on one of these payments and then drill down to the invoice itself and you can see the class section right here, and I can choose a class here. Now you'll notice that it says hidden, meaning it's hidden from the customer. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and save this. Okay, I'm gonna go back and go into that deposit again and go to the next payment. And go to the invoice, and here's the classes line. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and save this. Now this is where I'm able to add a class to each line item as opposed to the transaction as a whole because some invoices, some expenses, some vendor bills may have multiple different classes. If you don't have multiple classes in these types of transactions, then it may be easier and quicker to just assign a class to the entire transaction. But I chose in those settings to be able to assign classes to individual line items in each transaction. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and save this and do the rest of them. I'm going to go back in and do the next one. I'm moving through these kind of fast because Hopefully you already get the idea just by seeing me do one of them. All I'm doing is going into the transactions and changing the class or adding a class.
Okay, now I'm going to do some expenses just so you see that side of it as well. Okay, I'm going to go into this bill payment and you can see that there's not a class designation here. I have to click on the vendor bill itself. And let's just put general sales here. Okay, I'm going to also I'm going to also do the same thing in an expense. So there was an expense there as well. Okay, I'm going to do these two expenses because they are the same description. I'm going to put them in the category equipment rental and I'm going to assign the class as general sales. And then when I click on the other one, you'll see that it remembered what class that was so that if it's the same class every time, it might make things a little easier if that already is there. Now I could change it, of course, but that just might make things go a little faster. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and confirm and maybe do one or two more expenses. I already did those. Um, let's do this. Bill payment. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and assign a class to this transaction as well. Okay, now that I entered some transactions, I'm going to go ahead and go to the reports so you can see the report that's related to this. Here is a profit and loss by class report. I'm going to go ahead and click on this so you can see what it looks like. You can see that I have columns. I have a column for general sales and any income or expenses related to that would go in, in this column. I have a column for maintenance services, any income and expenses that I designated as this class would go here. And then there's this column called not specified for all of the other transactions that I did not assign a class to. So if you want a class on everything, you would have to go through these and make sure there was a class assigned. And then the total is over here on the right. Now I know I went through these transactions fairly quickly. My goal here was just to give you an idea of what this is like and how it's done. If you have any questions or you need me to do a longer video, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, that's all I wanted to cover today and thank you for watching.